Okay, so we got two more concept cars left to go left to go through, uh, and we're finally getting to the first duel of this playthrough. Route 50 with the Mustang Mach 3 concept. This is a very bizarre Mustang that was uh, shown off at the early in the early 90s. So I was edged. So I was edged out to the line. It uh, it was a big oof moment, my dudes. Yeah, I just gotta try really care. I gotta try really carefully to like not only again keep this car running smooth, but keep it in front of the vehicles. The main issue with the Mustang Mach 3 concept, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, this thing really, really likes uh, to slip the back end out. It's this 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 car's fat round ass likes to get on the slidey side. So I have to be very careful. Uh, the problem is, the two cars that I've been put up against so far, I haven't gotten to the third one yet, uh, they're better handling cars. So I have to really rely on this car's power to help me out and just keep it as smooth to the corners as I possibly can. Okay, so the, the GT is down, so back to the second car, which is the Focus FR200. As I mentioned briefly, the riciest Focus, the, the riciest Focus of the 2000s. But also probably the most absurd, and, you know, I like absurd things sometimes. Just, uh, I just hate the fact that it puts me up against two much better handling cars. You know what? That was very dirty of me, but after kind of after being edged out of the to the line last time by that focus, I didn't want it to happen again. Oh, I think the focus lost it a little bit there. Well, that definitely helps. All right, what's last? Oh, GT90, okay. Kind of an in-between. The GT90 is kind of an in-between of those of the two I just faced. It's it's got the it's got the speed, but it's not quite the handling vehicle as the as the other two are. Who is it? A black GT92. Oh god, please don't be this case where I like have to pull a wing and a prayer to catch it. Come. Oh, please. Yeah, I'm, you can tell I'm actually trying to push this thing now. That certainly does not help, though. Hang on, I can get in this. I can get in its slipstream. Oh my god, that was very aggressive, but I just got it there. All right, come on, to the line. Oh yeah, there we go. That I really had to push it hard on that last one, but we got it. <laughs> you could tell how much I had to push it, but my previous best lap was a 116, and that was a low 113. I was almost three seconds faster. And unlock the dual type. And now, we got one last concept, the Mustang GT concept, for an elimination at Portside. Yep, there's the Indigo. I have a suspicion this might handle better than that Mach 3 did, but, we're, but we'll have to wait and see, because I don't entirely know yet. Okay, kind of, we are kind of pushing my way through a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, that Mustang's going very wide. Oh, God. Oh, too much speed. Too much speed. We're fine, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Just, just brush it off, just keep moving. We're in the lead and that's all that matters right now. All right. So the Indigo and the FR500 Mustang got eliminated. Yeah, as soon as that FR500 went wide, it was it, it just dropped it dropped back and it dropped back hard. Yeah, we're doing doing pretty well though so far. This looks like this won't be too hard of an elimination. Like I can actually hear the road noise on in this in this view. There we go. Did not slam it into the wall this time. Famous last words. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm I'm very good at doing that. Alright, so the GT90 and the Mach 3 is gone, which just leaves me in the GT. Okay. We're gonna just kind of hug the corner a little bit there. Oh, pff. a little carried, a little carried away there. I had a Hot Wheels of this Mustang. Hello, Maddie. And there we go. We got it. Uh, there is a third game with this car, Vincent. Sega GT Online has the Mustang GT concept. Pro Racing 2 has been pretty interesting so far. It's actually been a pretty good, it's honestly been a pretty good stream so far. It's been one of my better streams in a while. Gotta be totally honest. And there's the SVT Cobra at last for the Palm View Duel. And that trophy is collected because all of concept is done. So now we can go. So since SVT was one back, we're going to go over to it and do the duel at Palm View. One of the most annoying things about making YouTube playthroughs when you're cutting out a lot of the failed attempts is when you're getting into a conversation of something, something that you actually want to mention about, something that uh, you think would be interesting for the for the particular part, you then, it, when you then have a failed uh, failed attempt, you then got to explain it all over again, and it makes it, and it basically makes it sound like you are on a, you are, you are basically on a, a broken a broken you basically sound like a broken record player so for those watching on the, the either the archive version on my uh, youtube archive channel or live as it's happening right now on twitch i apologize but i'm sure you all can understand that this is i gotta get this i gotta get a youtube ready version and i want and i don't want the, the folks who only watch the, the edited parts on youtube i don't want them to i don't want them to miss out so Hopefully this will be the last time I have to say this again, but I will say this again. 
for those of you watching either through the YouTube, whether it's these edited parts, whether it's the archive, or whether it is live on Twitch, thank you for watching, because I really do, that really means a lot. This has been one of my better streams in quite a while, and I'm very happy about that. And I definitely finally, finally am getting things more fleshed out for this Twitch channel. I have ideas. I have, I've gotten stuff that I, I have stuff running in that brain that I definitely want to do because I finally have an urge to do it. And it's going to be really fucking exciting. And in fact, I already know what I'm going to be playing next after this game. It's a game called Lamborghini. Now you might be wondering... Lamborghini, are you talking about that Super Nintendo game? No. I'm talking about Lamborghini. An unreleased racing game that was supposed to be released around 2003-ish, or I think early 2003, and never did. Because the, the studio that was developing it at the time went out of business before it could be released. And no publisher or, any, or studio uh, picked up the, the game to get to, to, to properly release it. So it just never came out. It's a game that I've wanted to play for a very, very long time when I first heard about it years ago, but was always disappointed because the most anyone could ever play was a demo on, an, on one of the Xbox demo discs. People had a, had a build, a playable build, but no one ever released that build until only a few months ago someone finally mercifully released a bit a playable build and as a result i can now do what i want to do which is make a playthrough of that game and i'm really looking forward to doing so i think it'd be really interesting and on twitch just like i'm doing right now with ford racing 2 that's going to be the next playthrough so if you're looking if you're if you find the idea of me playing an unreleased game all about the history of lamborghini cars and believe me there's some really really interesting lamborghinis in that game if you find that interesting def you're definitely going to want to tune in for that I am looking. I am very, very forward to looking to uh, playing that game because I think it's going to be a good time. So that is the third time I've had to explain that, at least to doing this, and hopefully this will be the last time because I'll finally beat this stupid other Mustang. Excuse you, sir. Oh, oh God. We keep it in fourth. Keep it in fourth. Hey, there we go, finally. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to explain that for a fourth time. Yeah, you're actually correct on that, Franco, by the way. Lamb the team originally responsible for Lamborghini would eventually become Juice Games, which would make, of course, Juiced. It's very interesting. So there we go. We finally got this one done. We've unlocked that Mustang. We've unlocked the SCT Trophy. And where are we in pro? 85% of the way done. We have still have to just get that last GT. We've gotten all the movie stars done, all the SVT done, and all the concept done. And then the next part, we're going to start tackling the off-road. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this. Check out my links down below. Make sure to check this out live on Twitch if you have the chance to, to see these live as they happen. And you'll have a good one. Hope to see you on the next video.